Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Problem 4.9. So, in this problem, it is stated that two vertical forces are applied to a beam of cross section as shown. So, this is the beam loaded with 15 kips at point B and point C. The cross section of this beam is like this which is inverted T shape. Determine the maximum tensile and compressive stresses in the portion BC of the beam. So you have to find the maximum stresses and uh, which is tensile stresses that will be below, the, uh, below this surface and the compressive stresses above this surface. So let's start with its solution. The given data can be extracted that this is the P force that is let write given data the force P is equal to 15 kilo Newton 15 kips clear and we have to find the maximum stress that will be in tension and the minimum stress the minimum will be a compressive uh, one which is in upper portion while the maximum will be in the lower portion. So let's start with its solution. As we have given this T shape, so let me draw this T shape. So this is the first portion, the upper, I will write it as 1 and this is the below portion that is portion 2. So if you take this axis as x axis and this is a this vertical as y-axis. This vertical as y-axis. So you can see that we have two rectangles. One is this one and one is this one. Clear? So the dimensions of uh, this is that this is 0.3. This is 3 inch. This is also from this point to this point is also 3 inch and from this point to this point is 3 inch. Total height is given as 6 plus 2, so 8 inch. Total height is 8 inch. Means from this point to this point it is 6 inch and from this point to this point it is 2 inch. Here, so let draw, uh, first we will have to find the centroid of this inverted T shape. So for that we have to draw a table that is the for one portion and this is for second. Let me write it down. This is for one portion, this is for two portion. This is for area, this is for Y naught dash. What is Y naught dash? I will show you this is area into Y naught dash. So area of this first shaded is 3 into 16 which is 18 inch square and similarly area for this shaded second portion is again 2 multiplied by 9 so this is also 18 now why not is distance from this y axis to the center of this point 1 now the center of this is this is 3 so this will be 3 and this will be 2 so this is y naught a this total distance is y naught a dash so that is 5 inch now similarly y naught 2 is this distance to the center of this which is basically 1 so i will write it 1 now a a into y naught so 18 into 15 will be 90 and similarly 18 into 1 will be 18 so if you sum them, sum of A will be equal to 36 and sum of A into Y naught dash will be equal to this plus this that will be equal to 108. Now for finding, for finding the centroid, for finding centroid of the above inverted T beam we have formula this centroid y naught. Y naught is the centroid. This is equal to sum of a y naught bar divided by sum of all the area. 
now you have both the values when you put this this will be equal to 108 and divide by 36 so y naught comes out to be 3 inch now what does it mean it means that again I shall draw the inverted T so you will see that this is same inverted T now you can see its centroid this is 2 2 mm 2 inch thickness so its centroid will be 3 so actually this is y y naught from the base this is y naught so it is its its center will be this so if you pass the neutral axis through centroidal so definitely this will be its centroidal axis there and the centroidal axis y naught is equal to 3 inch so now we have two members as i said earlier one and two so we will first find the value of i1 so i1 will be equal to uh, 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square now if you remember that this is 3 and this is the height which is 6 clear so that will be equal to 1 over 12 into 3 into 6 cube plus area of this first one is 18 and what about d now d is from centroidal axis to its the mem first one member this is 6 in so its center is on 3 so from 3 this distance is 2 so this is d1 that is equal to 2 inch clear so that will be equal to 2 square so if you solve it that i1 will be 126 inch 4 now for this member 2 so this i2 will be also equal to 1 over 12 bh cube plus ad square now this is 1 over 12 the total width was 9 that was 9 so 9 into its height is 2 so 9 into 2 cube plus area is area of the second rectangle was 18 now what is the value of d so from this point uh, this is the centroid and from centroid to till the end this is total distance of 2 no no sorry sorry from centroid again kindly make clear this from centroid to the center of part 2 so from center of part 2 will be at a distance of 1 inch and this is 1 inch so actually your d is d2 is this so d2 is 2 inch so that will be also 2 square so i2 if you calculate it through calculator the i2 will be equal to 78 inch 4 now we will find the total inertia of this inverted t that is equal to sum of i1 plus sum of plus uh, sum of i1 and i2 so it will be equal to 126 plus 78 that will give you total moment of inertia of this inverted i beam and that is equal to this i is equal to 204 inch 4 now you have the value of i so you have to as we know that stress is equal to minus y, m y divided by i so you have i that has been calculated you do not have m so if you look at this above problem this was the beam so if you take the free body diagram at one end this is the p force acting at point b this is the reaction force 
that will be equal to a magnitude of this B point and if you cut it from this point a moment M will be exerted clear so again this is this this is P this is P and let this is the distance from the uh, P that is given as 4 inch 40 inch clear so by using the moment equation at this point at this point A so if you take the sum of moment at point A is equal to 0 so this is counterclockwise moment that is positive minus P into perpendicular distance is 40 so P into 40 must be equal to 0 so I will write this equation below because there is less space available so let me write this equation over here so m minus p 40 p is equal to 0 so definitely m will be equal to 40 p now we know the value of p 40 it is given that p is 15 kips so that will be equal to moment will be equal to 600 kips into inch now you have m value as well you have i value you have m value and you have to calculate y now for maximum stresses maximum this will be equal to minus m into y max divided by i now what is y max y max is the maximum distance from centroid to the upper portion where you want, want to find the stress so basically you were y a let me show over here this is the centroid layer and this is the topmost maximum distance so this is y max and this y max is equal to how much this is 6 and this was 1 1 inch so if you subtract 6 1 from 6 so y max will be equal to 5 inch I have ok 5 inch clear so at the top this is this will be 600 into 5 divided by 204 minus sign is there so sigma max both are the maximum stresses but one will be under compression and one will be under um, tension so sigma max are at the top is minus 14.7 KSI this will be in this is the compressive stress at the at top of beam while we have to find the another maximum stress that is minus m y divided by i now i have already told you that both stresses at top and bottom will be the maximum stresses but one the above one will be under compression while below one is in tension so we have to find the uh, this distance now this from this center to the lower most so this is 2 and this is 1 so this is y max but it is minus 3 why because it is below the centroidal axis so we have to again put that is minus m is 600 y is minus 3 divided by i is 14 point uh, sorry i is 204 
so if you calculate this this maximum stress comes out to be 8.82 ksi since it is positive so that means that this is maximum tensile stress at bottom at bottom of beam so we have calculated the maximum stresses both at the top at the top this was compressive stress and we have also find the maximum stress at the bottom which is tensile stress so in this problem we have again i am telling you we have find maximum tensile and compressive stress in portion of bc Uh, thank you for watching the video if you have any question you can ask in comment section